I really retrospectively didn't pick Ole Miss. Ole Miss picked me. My father graduated from Ole Miss. My mother graduated. All my aunts and uncles, they all went to Ole Miss. So there really wasn't any question as to where I would go to, go to school. So I came here in the fall of 1966 as a freshman and started my relationship. Uh, but as a child, I had been brought up going to Ole Miss football games uh, and very, very much uh, an, an Ole Miss young man and fan and, and so forth. So I came here and uh, began what now is 52 years of my direct association with the university. And it's been the best 52 years of my life, not the best four years of my life, like most people say college is, it's been the best 52 of mine. And I came to, came to Ole Miss supposedly, quote unquote, temporarily for 90 days, and here I am all these years later. I learned a lot from Ed uh, in those early years when, when I was with that, that program, it was a federal program. And like all federal programs, we finally lost our money, funding and so it went away. And that's when I, I went to work, the university was kind to me, and I went to work in the financial aid office and worked there for, for right at 17 years. And, and then when we formed our new Center for Student Success, I had already been working and coordinating the first year experience course. It was T-90 then, we had five sections when I started with it. And this fall, past fall, we had 134 for freshmen and 20 for, for transfers. 154 sections of class. It's the largest class taught on the Ole Miss campus. And if anything, you talked about legacy, that would be what I would uh, I'd like to leave. I think, I think we've done some great things with that. I relate to our students and still can relate to our freshmen, even though we're going to be seven years old in August. Just because I was one of them. It was 1966. It was different from now, but then in a lot of ways it wasn't different. I was the same excited kid, also afraid kid, out there with the unknown, very naive. I see that every day I go in those classrooms with those freshmen, I see me. And so this place has made me who I am. Ole Miss is, is my life and Ole Miss transformed me into the person I became. And that's what, that's what we still do. Dan Jones, when he was chancellor, he, he, he looked at me one day, it was just the two of us in his formal office, and I don't remember why we were in there together, but he says, he says, Deary, we're in the business of transforming lives. And I can't tell you how much I thank you for all the lives you've transformed. So it meant a lot to me.